Hello guys, you all are welcome to today's tutorial, which is going to be on hip and butt padding. Now, these are the materials I'll be needing. My basic step pattern for the front and the back. My basic skirt pattern, my measuring tape. Um, I'll be using this tight. This is a female tight. Now the hip part I'm making will be attached to this tight, so my client can wear it anytime she feels like you know on any outfit. That's the idea. So my hip part is going to be fixed to this tight okay and then this is the fabric this is a scuba stretchy scuba fabric i'll be using to cover the the foam i'll be using to make the a part this is the foam i'll be using this is um, half inch foam muka foam any form of your choice is okay so the first thing i'll do right now is to work on my pattern I'll be working on my front pattern. Um, the first thing I'll do is to work on my pattern. And this is my front pattern. On the, this is the side of the front. I'll come down by two inches. No, one and a half is fine. One and a half inch. And this is the knee. This is the waist. This is the waist. The hip and the knee length and levels. On the knee line, I'll go up by two inches. And then from this side here, this side of my front, I'll just come in by. From my center front, I'll go in by my bust span measurement. Now, my clients, clients and bust span measurement is six and a half inches so I'm going to divide by two so I'll go in by three point two five so this is three point two five here and then I'll connect all the points together and then ensure to blend any sharp point at all there shouldn't be any sharp point so just blend it out Okay, so right now this is my front part. This is the front, so I'm gonna write it inside here. And this is the up and this is down. So we are done with the front. Let's go to the back. For the back, the first thing I'll do is um, this is my side center back and this is my side back. Now from the center back uh, along the waist hip line. I'll go in by one inch, and then on the on the knee line, I'll do the same thing I did on the front. Two inches, one point five, one point five inch, and then um, I'm not just going to connect it. I connected the front. You know, the box has a kind of shape, a curved shape thing. I'll try to create that shape using my underboard contour. For our, for my clients, our underboard contour is um, around four inches, and then I'll go in by four. So I'll just kind of create a kind of curve. Just watch what I'm doing. Let me join the upper part first. So I'll try to connect this part here, this point. Okay. So after doing this, I'm just going to blend all the sharp points. I'm just using my free hand. Blend any sharp. 
Okay, so this is looking like the fourth shape. And then I'll also label this is up, down. So the next thing I'll do is to cut. I'm going to cut off. Okay, so this is the front and this is the back. Now I'm going to join them. I'm going to join them from the down. The next thing I'll do is to place it on my foam and then cut. My foam is going to be two. I'm going to cut one. Okay, so this is it right now. I've cut for one part. And then I'm also going to cut for the second part. I'm going to cut for the second part. As you can see, I have the two of my eight parts already cut out. Now the next thing I'll do is to label where it is here. I'm going to transfer the labeling. This is my top. And this is down. This is on front and this is back. Okay. And then the next thing I'll do is to get my needle and thread. Then I'll sew this together. Like I'll join these parts together. Guys, can you see it? Mm -hmm. So this is one part. I'm going to fix this other part right now. So I've already gone. I've stitched the both sides, as you can see. Now I'm going to have to determine um, the front, the left, and the right. Okay. So how do I do that? So to determine the the right and the left. Mm -hmm. This is how I'm just going to place it. This is the front, and this is the front. Front facing the front. Now this is going to be for my left, and this is going to be for my, for my right side. Okay? okay. This is the right, and this is the left. Now the next thing I'll do is to start trimming. I'm going to trim from the inside. Hmm? I'm going to trim from the inside. This is exactly what I mean. I'm going to trim the edges of the foam to zero, to zero. Like it's going to be very flat. I'll just keep doing that off camera. Trim it to zero. Just be careful so that you don't. Put the foam open. Can you see how light it's looking already? Mm -hmm. I have uh, trimmed all the edges of the foam. It's looking so flat right now. Now the next thing I'll do is to, is to cover the foam. I'm going to cover the boot of the I'll just take it in like this. Then it's properly. So 
So guys, this is what it looks like. So I'll just take it to my sewing machine and then sew on the edge, like one eighth inch, one eighth around, just to keep it in place. Then I'll take it to my ironing table and then iron it. This is how far we have gone. I have gone um, around the edges. Oh, for the both of them. And then I'm just going to take out the pin and trim off the excess. So guys, I have given it a very good press to further flatten the sides. I'll start by folding my tights this way, like I'm taking this down part to meet this one, just to make it equal to get the sides of my tights. And then this is the back, I just keep from one that has the back. This is up and down, and this is the back. So I'll place it like this, ensuring that the center matches with the center of my tie. Just to ensure that you arrange it properly and then you pin down. Just turn and do the same thing for the other one. This is up and down. Same thing to the side to match with this side. Okay. And then I open up and pin all around, pin all around the sides. So this is what it looks like right now. I pinned the both of them on the tight. But next I'm going to take my double threaded and needle. Then I'll begin to sew. You can sew from anywhere. Just make sure that the tight, the hip pad is well relaxed on the tight. And then you begin to sew. Don't drag the needle too much. I say. So I'm going to do that all around for the two. Um, legs for the two ties. I have finished the unstitching of the foam part to the tight, and this is what it looks like. This is the back, and this is the front. Now you see how neat. You see how neat it is. This is what the right side looks like. The back. So guys, this is the final result of our e part. As you can see, it has increased the eight of my mannequin. So this e part can be worn on any dress, whether it's tightly fitted or loose fitted, just to like increase the size of the hip and the butt. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.